Abercrombie and Fitch is on the hot seat this morning. The popular style chain accused of discriminating against overweight customers, making clothes only for the thin. Mm. Rebecca Jarvis here with the story. Yes, and this is a company that is making almost $5 billion a year in sales, but they're doing it by deliberately leaving out a significant part of the population. And the CEO says it's all by design. At your nearest Abercrombie and Fitch, you can find shirtless salesmen and the latest distressed denim. But if you're looking for a women's extra large blouse, you're out of luck. The trendy retailer CEO doesn't want your business. He's been very, very successful. He doesn't want anybody in the store that doesn't fit that cool, young, and sexy uh, definition. Robin Lewis is co-author of The New Rules of Retail. He says it's all part of CEO Mike Jeffrey's master plan to cultivate what he considers cool. We visited the Abercrombie flagship store in New York City to get a closer look to see if we could find something for the average woman, a size 14 in the U.S. But after scanning multiple shelves and racks, we found mostly double zeros and extra smalls and a couple of large tops and size 10 pants. Salespeople there confirmed Abercrombie doesn't carry XL or XXL for women. A spokesperson for Abercrombie and Fitch declined to comment, but in a 2006 interview, CEO Jeffries told Salon Magazine, we go after the attractive all-American kid. A lot of people don't belong in our clothes, and they can't belong. Are we exclusionary? Absolutely. He is a brilliant visionary, and he really crystallized this core consumer he was going after. But Lewis says it's a model that may not fit the future. Plus size shoppers now make up 67% of consumers. I think young people, they want cool, but it is how they define it for themselves. From Dove's Real Beauty campaign highlighting real women to H&M's inclusion of plus size swimsuit model Jenny Runk, many other brands are embracing that individualism and making their clothes more accessible. For example, rival retailers H&M and American Eagle both carry sizes up to 16 and 18. The largest at Abercrombie and Fitch, a 10. And it may come as a surprise, Abercrombie isn't alone in employing these exclusionary tactics. Many high-end retailers deliberately keep sizes low and prices high just to be exclusive. They think it adds some sort of cachet to the label.